some social media questions yes. for you, Jay. Uh, David S. Frederick on Facebook Hi, asked, David. Hey, David. Was it fun or difficult to voice Tiffany in Bride of Chucky? Did they give you a lot of director notes there? No, you know what? You Don Mancini said when he was writing it, he saw, he heard my voice. Which I don't know if I should be alarmed. And I remember the studio wanted like a Baywatch actress that was cheaper because, like I said, I was sort of at the height of my career. Mm -hmm. But I just had an idea that Tiffany would have more of a doll like voice because I played Tiffany the person mm -hmm. and then she turns into a doll. I thought, because she's all hollow in there. So when I do Tiffany, I'm not really good at turning on voices at whim, but when I do Tiffany, she sounds more like this. Chucky, you said we weren't going to kill anymore. You lied. You know, so that's that how I talk. But it's very complicated because, first of all, I'm Tiffany as a person. So Tiffany as a person was sort of more like, like, Chucky, you're an asshole. Right. And then Tiffany goes into Jennifer Tilly's body. So now Tiffany is using my voice. So there is like, it's kind of like, am I Tiffany? Am I Jennifer Tilly? A lot of different shadings yes. there. Yes, in the last movie, I am I show up and I'm saying I'm Jennifer Tilly, but it's actually Tiffany in my body. So for this, I went to acting school. I have a BFA in theater. Joey Vegas on mm -hmm. Facebook asked, does Jennifer find that she gets on underestimated at the card table because she comes from the world outside of poker. I do get underestimated and the, a lot of it is the commentators. Like if I do something like a little unorthodox or a little out of the block, they'd be like, oh, and Jennifer Tilly just checks or oh, she's playing that hat. They'll say things like that and they kind of like make fun of me, which mm -hmm. tells the people what to think. But if Phil Ivey, who's the greatest poker player yeah. ever, who was ever born, if he does the same thing, they'll be like, oh, and a brilliant bluff by Phil Ivey. So it really is true, that, but it kind of helps me because I can get into any game in the world. And a lot of times people pay me off or they'll fold to my bluffs because they do underestimate me. But see, the thing I yeah. like is that uh, all I ask is it be accurate. You concede yeah. you're not Phil Ivey. Phil Ivey's become Phil Ivey right. because there's, he's sweet generous. Yeah. There's only one Phil right. Ivey. When I watch him, I just go, wow, what a stone killer this guy is. You're a great poker player, yeah. but even you would concede if they start treating everybody. He has carved out some deference yes. because of the fact but he, when, Johnny Chan, you know, they're right. killers. They're but when killers. I'm on this show, when I'm a show, I'm also really conscious that we're making a show too. And yeah. sometimes I think like, oh, I thought of a really good joke. And then I say, if I tell this joke, I'll lose the pot. So I'm like, joke or pot, joke or pot. And I'll tell the joke and I lose the pot. But, but I feel like it's worth it because I feel like I want to be an entertainer. No, no, it's a very cool move. Right. I love that. Uh, Cody Joe Brown on Facebook. Mm -hmm. What's the role you wanted but didn't get? And what was the role you now wished you had taken? Sort of the same question. What, were you, what did you compete for really hard? Everybody has one of those and thinks. You I, know what? I'm, oh God, I, there's there's so many. I was never really up for a lot. Oh, I remember something wild I was up for against um, Melanie Griffith, and I love that yeah. script, and I didn't get it. I thought that that was really kind of great. But I, I don't have any story. Oh, you know, uh, Steel Magnolias, mm -hmm. I was up for um, Daryl Hannah's part. Right. And then 11th hour, Daryl Hannah managed, and I just finished working with her. And I saw her in the lobby, and she's wearing like a little shrug, because they wanted Daryl yeah, Hannah classes. for the Julie Roberts part. Oh, they did? Yes, but she didn't want it. She says, I don't want to be the golden girl. She sees herself as a weird, quirky character actress. And this was like at the height of her splash fame, so she's a huge star. Right. And so she had a little shrug and swearing, little right. Need glasses, and I go, Daryl. It was my final audition. What What are you doing here? She goes, I'm here to read for Annelle, and I was plunged into the depths of despair because I was like, Well, if Daryl wants my part, of course she's gonna no, get she my part. she was doing Gilda's Emily Latella character. Yeah, oh, was so, that what she was doing? Yeah. And I got offered. I actually got offered the television version, mm -hmm. but I was like, I don't want to be the television version of Daryl Hannah. And it, they had Sally Kirkland was playing. Yeah. It didn't get pets of pilot. Never miss a beat. Subscribe to Larry King now and watch new episodes every day.